was good y'all Rich Sosa in the building and today as y'all can see by the looks of the title and the screen I'm actually gonna be bringing y'all a very rare build this is actually gonna be called the mid interior playmaker but we're gonna be able to get the elite contact dunk then on top of all that consider we're also going to be able to get pro dribble moves and depending on how well of a shooter you are you're also going to be able to shoot on this build going to be very rare and also useful when it comes down to it especially with the animations we unlock so again first things first i just want to say thank god for giving me this opportunity to be able to present myself to y'all as well as having you in my day as well as having you and me just share this little bond that we got going on man i truly appreciate y'all so man before before we get into the making y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new to the rgf family and anybody looking to join man i would appreciate it if y'all went ahead and hit that like button let's go ahead and get 50 likes on this banger but in order to actually join y'all gotta go ahead and turn on post notifications now when it comes down to it first we're gonna go ahead and make this build under the small forward position and when it comes to this actual build i have made it in the past when it comes down to 2k21 on current gen but this version is actually gonna be much better than anything that i have ever seen when it comes down to this specific build so go ahead and pick the pie chart that's gonna be the green and the blue but it's gonna have a little bit more blue than green and that one is gonna be perfect to make this build now when it comes down to the physical profile this is really gonna be based off of your personal preference so if you want to go with the fastest speed go ahead and pick the very first physical profile however if you want to go ahead and switch it up to get a little bit more vertical pick the fourth one and that is definitely gonna be okay from there now when it comes down to these stats y'all be sure that you are following along exactly as i show y'all because some of these are going to be very specific if you change one single attribute and put it somewhere else you definitely risk changing up the build name so let's go ahead and get right into it when it comes down to the finishing side of things we're going to go ahead and put our driving dunk 81 driving layup 77 and the close shot is going to be a 76 now when it comes down to the standing dunk for batch purposes, you can really go ahead and put this up to 9. 57 is going to be perfect. And then when it comes down to right here, we're actually going to go ahead and put that driving layup to an 81. Then when it comes down to the close shot, that's going to be a 75. So really, if you ever feel like making a couple of minor adjustments, that is also another route that you can go about when it comes to making these builds. Now... I'm actually not going to go ahead and leave my driving layup like that. I'm going to switch it down because if I remember correctly, this is going to be one of the key stats that changes up the build name. So when you make your own adjustments, just be mindful that if you're trying to get the exact build name that I'm bringing y'all, be sure that first you make the build how I make it. And then from there, it'll be a lot easier to make your own version out of it. Now, when it comes down to the shooting, mid-range shot going to be maxed out, three-pointer maxed out as well and then when it comes down to that post fade put it to an 87 free throw gonna be a 60 and that's gonna give us 15 shooting badges now when it comes down to the playmaking pass accuracy 75 ball handle 73 and the post control is gonna be maxed out at a 74 y'all now when it comes down to the defensive end we're gonna go ahead and max out the perimeter defense lateral quickness steal defensive rebound and then end it off with the block and we're gonna have six defensive badges y'all so again this is a solid setup when it comes down to this kind of rare build still gonna be able to get pro dribble moves this build is at around i would say like six nine right now so that's why it shows you the ball handle only at a 73 but this is subject to change so with these last remaining stats i would highly recommend putting them into the free throw that's just going to make the build that much more versatile if you put it into the close shot or even the driving layup you risk changing the build name and honestly these are going to be some key stats so do not go anything above the 30 if you want to go ahead and try to remain it as close as possible to the main build that we want now i'm going to go ahead and put it into the free throw like i said gonna make the build just that much more versatile especially if you want to go ahead and run a 5v5 type of lineup game now as y'all can see right here, you can go ahead and lower it to five defensive badges to where you get an extra one in 
the shooting. Honestly, in my opinion, it's not going to be worth it. The more defensive badges, the better. So let's go ahead and continue now. For this build, y'all already know that I got to go with the body shape of Burley. I truly feel like that's going to be a really good one. But honestly, build's going to be another one. You don't need to go with any of these. Go based off of your own preference. And now, here is where the fun starts to kick in. So we are 6'7 right now. If you go at 6'6, six, six, as you can see, we're still going to be able to maintain that really nice height. But then we are only four ticks away from the pro dribbles. Go ahead and drop your weight all the way down to the lowest. And still, we are in good shape, y'all. So do not worry about it. Almost done here. When it comes down to it, you could go ahead and try to lower or raise your weight. It just comes down to if it's affecting your main stats as well as the physicals. Now, when it comes down to the wingspan. Go ahead and add a plus four. That is going to put your driving dunk over around an 88 with a max wingspan. If you go ahead and leave it right here, you're going to get around an 87, which is still not bad. But the key thing is we want to be able to get the pro as well as elite contact dunks, y'all. So 85.2 is definitely going to be in the range where I feel like it's going to be perfect. Three point shot and the midi are not bad at all. And then with these takeovers, slashing, post scoring, playmaking, and then shot creating, y'all. Go ahead and pick whichever one you favor the most. And as y'all can see, we have made the mid interior playmaker, y'all. Now, this build, I'm telling you, definitely going to be worth grinding for, especially once you see this build at 99. A lot of things are going to continue to change along the way. But if you stick through, this is easily going to be one of the best rare build names that you will see. And on top of all that, when it comes down to the animations that we're going to be able to get, a lot of people are actually going to be surprised with what this build can do. And that's just my opinion. I'm hyping up the build because I truly believe when I see a unique one, you got to go ahead and put it out there just so that everybody knows. You can't hold them to yourself, y'all. So that is why I always put them out. But man... When it comes down to the wingspan for this build as well, just be sure that y'all follow along in order to get the quick and fastest way to get those elite contact dunks. Now, this build at 99. We're going to get a plus 8 to our physicals, so speed is going to be in the mid 90s. Then when it comes down to the acceleration, low 90s, but our vertical is definitely going to hit the 80. Now, close shot with boost as well as running with a teammate with floor general this has the potential to almost hit the 90s and also the same exact thing is going to be able to apply to your driving layup as well as that driving dunk now along the way we're going to be able to get contact dunks around 98 overall which is still not bad we'll be able to get the pro ones at 97 but when it comes down to the playmaking we're still going to be able to get those pro dribble moves so do not worry about it let's go ahead and get into the badge cap now a setup that i would go with when it comes down to the defensive end either go with silver intimidator silver rip protector as well as silver rebound chaser or you definitely got to go ahead and put on clap so do not forget about it going with these three is definitely going to be a route that i would go with all on silver now when it comes down to the finishing we got nine badges that we're going to be able to work with. So be sure that you put on the most important first. And of course, of course, y'all, Posterizer on Hall of Fame has got to be the one that you just thought of. Then from there, we're going to go with Slithery Finisher. I truly believe this badge works very well. And the last one for animation purposes, go ahead and put on Lob City Finisher on Bronze. Now, 15 more badges to work with when it comes to the shooting end. So first, I'm going to go ahead and hit y'all with Hot Zone Hunter on Gold. Then from here, there's a couple of different setups we can go with. I'm going to go ahead and put on Lucky Number 7. I feel like that's going to be a really good badge that we can use this year. Then from there, of course, Deadeye is definitely going to be one of the most useful badges when it comes down to the shooting. Now, I feel like Limitless Spot Up is going to be a really good badge. Not too much said about it yet, but we are going to be finding out later. So do not worry about it. Then, when it comes down to these last couple badges, I'm going to go with Silver Corner Specialist, Bronze Volume Shooter, and the last one, you could go ahead and upgrade it to Limitless Gold 3. Now, when it comes down to the final setup of these badges, we got the playmaking. 16 to work with, so let's go ahead and start it off. Go ahead and put on Quick First Step on Gold. From there, pair it up with Handles for Days. Now, a lot of people talk about hyperdrive. I'm going to pair it up only if I could get it on Hall of Fame. So I would go ahead and put it on silver for now. And then I'm going to put quick chain on silver as well. Now, gold, triple threat, juke. 
gonna be a really solid batch to put on and then from there go ahead and put on tight handles i truly believe this is gonna be a solid setup 9 15 16 and 6 thank y'all so much for watching it all the way to the end go ahead and comment down rgf if y'all did i got another video dropping for y'all tomorrow this is literally probably around my eighth build that i have made for y'all and i got the gameplay as well as the videos lined up so be sure to stay tuned so man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new and anybody looking to join the rgf family man go ahead and turn on post notifications and let's go ahead and get 50 likes on this banger i know that we can do it share this video with your family and friends and last but definitely not least y'all thank god and i got one last thing to say rich out.